Hi everyone, welcome back to Julie's Roots and Shoots. I'm Julie and today is a very special day. We are planting out tomatoes into the garden. It is probably, my gosh, um, maybe a week or two uh, past when I would normally plant out. This season, this gardening year has just been a little bit delayed because the nighttime temperatures were just a little bit too cold. So it is now uh, May 24th and we are finally planting out tomatoes. I have my car fully loaded right now and uh, we'll see if I get all of them planted or not. She's loaded up. There's tomatoes just all in there. I think I have six trays in here. So let's head over to the garden and start planting. All right, I ended up digging on both sides of the beds, not too many on this front bed, just because I'm gonna leave those onions in there. I went ahead and did these other two beds. So I believe I've added 23 or 24 more extra tomato spots. I got this first bed planted and I'm saving two here. And then this bed, I usually make my cherry tomato bed, but I just had so many big slicer tomatoes and I think I put an Amish paste in here. So this bed is kind of mixed with cherries and slicer tomatoes, whereas these two are just slicers. All right, I apologize if I have dirt on my face. I've been planting tomatoes. So I did put the camera down and I got all but two tomato plants planted. Um, I do have extras that are just in some pots here. And what I'm planning to do with those is just sell them at my local farmer's market that's going to start up here in maybe a week or two. Um, so I'll probably just sell those extras or give them away depending on who wants what. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I plant my tomatoes. So coming this way, I left this Cherokee purple here for us to plant together. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this was the really big, beautiful, healthy tomato plant that I showed you guys in my video, put out um, just the last video. So this was my biggest, beautiful, like just perfect tomato plant. Um, so again, I've got most of my tomatoes in these bootstrap farmer trays, and these are just really small cups. I probably should have transplanted them up or potted them up into a bigger pot, but oh well. So we're just gonna be pretty gentle here and pull the pot right off. And this root structure is looking pretty good. And then, so what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and pinch off these very bottom branches. So something just like that. And then we're gonna plant it all the way up here. So now is the time, um, really, if you wanted to add some amendments, it's perfect. Um, I have pretty darn good soil, so I really don't usually have to amend. Um, all I do is just add a little bit of fresh fish compost on the top of this. Uh, fish compost is just something that I have readily available to me in my area. So I'm good. I'm not going to add anything. This is just straight up plants in the soil. Then we'll bury them pretty good. So just like that. I'm just gonna check for flowers real quick and it looks like we're in the clear. Again, there's just a little bit of sunburn damage but um, this plant looks real healthy so I am not worried about him going anywhere. This is the finished product. We can see the stem is just nice thick, very deep. Um, yep. A little bit of sunspot, a little damage, but that is a very nice sturdy little tomato plant. And in the back here, I've got all of the other ones planted. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. This next one here is an Ida Gold. And I just, I planted a few, so I put the tag in between them. So hopefully I remember that in the future. So again, we're just gonna lightly squeeze this pot and we're gonna correct it. Okay. 
beautiful roots. Hopefully some of you guys can tell, but this soil that I'm using in these pots for my plants, this is not like your traditional gardening or potting soil that you, like when you would buy plants, there's usually like vermiculite, which are, it's like the little white crunchies, uh, perlite or a sphagnum peat moss or anything like that. This is just straight garden soil um, because I ended up having issues with the potting soil that I bought from the store being um, just severely lacking nutrients. And I actually did an experiment with some of my plants and it turns out like it straight up just was the potting soil was bad. Um, so I did, yep. Um, so kind of shame on me for not catching that from last year because I think that's what got me last year too. At first I thought my plants had gotten too cold but pretty sure it was bad soil. So anyways, this is my garden soil, and this proves that it works. This is nothing special, just straight, like, fish compost and some soil, and boom. This is what this is, and as you can tell, like, it, it works. So you do not have to spend money if you don't want to. You could go dig up your soil in your existing garden beds, and it, it, it should work. So, okay, back to planting. So we are going to pinch off these little bottom leaves and I kind of like to give it a little bit of room to kind of heal off. The one thing you don't want to do is like snap this down and peel like the skin of the tomato plant off. So I really don't mind giving just a little bit of extra space for this plant to heal up. I do this, I prune them as soon as I put them into the ground, if I even do in the first place. Pruning is not necessary. I've planted a bunch of plants where I left these intact and just buried them. So this is just, I mean, if they're really big stems, this is what I do. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave these two on here for now. But as soon as this plant gets a little bit taller, I will be uh, pruning these lower branches off as well. We're going to go down just a little bit. Your plants like to be tucked in pretty nicely and snug. You don't want to compact or compress the soil too much, but make sure they're tucked in. I did a quick count and I've got 62 tomato plants in the ground. Uh, I will give them a few days just to see if any of them have suffered too much transplant shock. So. Um, probably by tomorrow or the next day I'll know if they do or not um, or if I need to replace them. So I think for the most part we're going to be okay because these plants look pretty darn good, um, look healthy and green so yeah. It is nice seeing these beds start to fill out. Well, everybody, that is it for today. Thank you so much for planting tomatoes with me. Planting 62 tomatoes, or just plants in general, is a lot. It took me probably about an hour and a half to be out here this evening, and a lot of bending over and stretching and garden yoga. It is now day two of transplanting out all of the starts that I had sowed in my greenhouse. Yesterday I did the tomatoes, today I'm going to be doing most of the flowers and herbs, and then probably later this week I'll be doing the peppers. But for today it is just flowers and it's been a hot day. It's like 80 something degrees right now, um, and tomorrow's going to be 90, so I might not plant tomorrow just because that's that'll be the hottest day of the year that we've had so far. Um, but anyways, uh, I did find a garden friend. So everybody, this is a gopher snake or a bull snake. These are kind of like rattlesnake imitators, but as you can see by her tail here, she does not have a rattle. Bull snakes and gopher snakes, which are the same thing, same common name, they've got this almost rattlesnake-like appearance to them. So she's a good friend. This is a good snake. She'll eat a bunch of rodents and keep all the, the bad nasties out of the garden.
I hope she can just keep going on her merry way so I can finish transplanting everything out here. All right. See you later. So I've been out here for about three hours now and I just, I was plugged in with my headphones and just got to work. Uh, gosh, it is, it cooled down though, so that's nice. It's probably like 70, 75 degrees right now, so it feels really wonderful. And the sun is pretty much set, or is going to be here in just a few minutes. But um, yeah, I did a lot of stuff. So here's all the trays that I emptied, which um, I'm not even going to count because... That's just, it's, it's, it's a ton. Um, all these six packs, bootstrap farmer trays, flower pots, uh, like in these trays are stacked up. There's just a ton, just a ton. So I got all this planted and I'm not going to do a full tour right now, but I did want to show you everything as it is freshly planted in the soil. So most of my work has been on this very big long first bed here and this is my dedicated flower bed. So I kind of planted some stuff in here. I did some major weeding through all of this and I didn't really have a method of like um, making things perfectly symmetrical or anything like that. I just kind of did um, I, I was just going with the flow. I did what felt good and what I thought would look good where. So this first bed is pretty much fully planted. Uh, I might direct sow a few things in here, but I think for the most part, I got, I got some weeding to do right here, but the rest of it I feel like is just done. Now we've just got to wait for all of these to fill out and look beautiful, like the, how the bachelor buttons filled out. And then I've got just a few plants back in here too. Swinging around by the rutabaga, I cleared this out. So this area is planted. I didn't do much with these middle beds right here. I'm going to be saving these for my peppers, sweet peppers and hot peppers. So I kind of just left those. I feel like today I can definitely feel the, the like lower back pain, honestly, just from like bending and crouching all the time. But it's, you know, it's not that bad, but like I can feel it. So I'm definitely going to be getting a back massage tonight. So, yeah. I did a little bit of interplanting in the tomato beds and this first long bed here has got some more flowers in it as well. And we can kind of see that the garden is just filling out. Oh, I've got to get those stupid buckets out of here. Ugh, they're just garbage. They're sun rotted. Um, so like I've got some dahlias planted here. The ends of the beds are planted. This bed, that bed, and that bed. Did some planting over here. And then this is the other dedicated flower bed. And this one is, I'm going to direct sow some stuff in here, but other than that, this is pretty much done as well. So that pretty much is it for all of the flowers that I had started in the greenhouse. Um, other than just like, just direct sowing, which I've got some packets in my seed collection area. Uh, really things I'm going to be direct sowing are going to be like zinnias. I want more zinnias in here for sure. And probably just nasturtiums. I think those are really the only two flowers that I want more of. Yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Um, oh, and sunflowers. Yes, zinnias, nasturtiums, and sunflowers. Those are like my three tried and true wonderful garden flowers that grow well in my area. Uh, yeah, so those three. Well, that is the end of day two transplanting flowers into the garden.